Look at that little nice pile there. There we go, first fish of the day, guys. Here we go. Nice little bit of eater. Not bad at all. We're out here in the middle of the day. Water temperature, look at that. Nice little solid fish. Um, out here in the middle of the day, slightly blue bird. Absolutely crisp, nice start to the fall. We just got back from Truman Lake and folks, I'm just happy to be back. Guide trips have started back up here at the, uh, the home lake. And uh, look at this, man. I'm telling you right now, if you guys come out, it's going to be unbelievable. It's just going to be unbelievable. So sport my wind rider today. It's going to be a fun day. We're going to do brush piles. This is your this is your typical fall fishing. And as the water drop, the water temperature drops, that bite gets that much more aggressive. It's just a lot of fun. So book now for the guide service, and I'm going to take you along for the ride today. As we're going to find some brush piles and. Um, see what we can make happen because the fish are getting aggressive and it is it just this this is the time of the year it just doesn't get any better back from truman we can talk about that as well stay tuned here we go all right as you can see this is a fairly deep uh brush pile we're talking it's 20 feet down there fish are sitting there anywhere between 12 and 20 feet and as we drop down there as you can see here they're going to kind of start coming out there a lot of those fish that are on the top are going to be the smaller fish just caught one there um, in my opinion those bigger guys will want to sit want to sit down there low that's not always the case it just seems that my when i if i can get down to those smaller fish look at that guy actually ate that jig there it is right there um, it just seems like the, the bigger fish are gonna be typically down in these corners. The key is, can you get past these guys up here without attacking it? Um, and I'll talk about some of the things maybe you can do to do that, but you can sometimes you can sneak in from behind, but for the most part, you're just gonna have to allow them to kind of hit on them before you get down to those bigger fish. But that's where I like to think that the bigger fish stay. Sometimes they're dead in the center dead in the center of a structure like this um, is a good spot to be and to find those bigger fish um, vertical jigging is a great way to get those guys awake i'm just going to take a, a minute just so that people that don't know we're using the 10 pound optimal sniping braid okay i've got a number seven split shot this is my rig there's a lot of reasons why i use that split shot now it is not the best thing in terms of it can pierce your line you can break where you're putting your split shot but it's efficient it's fast and I can't get away from it so it's a number seven split shot 10 pound sniping braid I use a 130 second ounce jig right now I'm favoring the black and what I've been using a lot of lately is the blue monkey the blue monkey is just an awesome bait here it's available at three pound fishing um, that is my go-to with a black three 130 second ounce jig head from three pound fishing obviously um, all powered by that old hammer the Hammer 10, this rod right here, super sensitive, love it. Large cork handle on the top, that gives you versatility. I'm telling you guys, big deal. Don't have to worry about maintaining your hand on the cork handle where they only give you this much room. They give you, we're giving you like eight to almost 10 inches of cork up there on top, giving you the flexibility to move around a little bit and not have to worry about going off the cork handle. So check those out, those are awesome new rods coming also in october 15th but the hammer 10 is available right now so this is my setup this is what we're using today let's catch some more fish now the optimal sniping braid this is the lightest stuff four strand i also recommend the optimized big time for you guys that are down those southern states um, the reason why is it's a eight strand and it is it is a much beefier 10 pound uh, in terms of strength so um, if you're a caster though this stuff is the bomb. You will have to learn how to recast because you will not find a smoother casting braid than the optimal, flat out. It's the number one comment we get. So here we are, we're down where we want to be now. And there he is. So we got one of the bigger fish by focusing in on that one corner. Okay, he's just a little bit bigger, but we'll take him. 
course we're letting them go but this is a good solid fish right there good solid little crappie and um, this pile is definitely an aggressive pile so good pile here all right boy did we slow it down just to play around with these fish but there is an absolute ton of fish here unbelievable amount of fish but we actually took the split shot off just to see the impact it would have and um, it certainly makes it easier for them to find it um, but they don't go after it as quickly it seems like they let it they allow it to float around there a little bit so it's coming down there really slow which that in itself is probably not worth it Not a bad fish. Now, you guys that are just getting onto this, you know, you, you don't recall what I'm using. This is an 8616 from Garmin. I'm a, I'm a big Garmin guy. Uh, never actually have seen the Lowrance version of uh, Live Scope, or although I haven't heard anything bad about it. Um, uh, unfortunately, I have heard bad things about the Humminbird version. I've seen it and experienced it myself, but I'm sure they're also pretty good when you get it dialed in as well. So, but this is a Garmin 8616. It's pretty much their top of the line um, monitor. It's a 16 inch monitor. So when you look at my screen, don't think it's a 12 inch, it's a 16. And um, a lot of people enjoy that, especially on the guide trips, because if you're in the back of the boat, you can actually see the image. You can actually uh, get a good vibe as to what's going on and you don't have to necessarily be in the in the front of the boat another dinker all right guys i think that's just going into it's going to be a shorter episode i guess but regardless i had a great time midday it's a fight midday so still found a bunch of fish on the pile that's definitely where they're at right now um, just a matter of getting this water temperature down a little bit more and they'll become more and more aggressive uh, those big fish will become more aggressive so book now for the three pound fishing guide service for this fall uh, dates are filling up, but there's still a lot of availability left, especially October, November, and those are my favorite months. So give me a call, 618-694-5162. Get it on the books. Have a good one, guys.